It's been a while, mate. Uh, I think I bumped into you down at um, Doncaster, Doncaster last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you was getting ready for a fight. And am I right? Did it get cancelled because of COVID? No, mine was on the. I think the last time I boxed with the sixth of March, that actually happened. So you managed to get out yeah, before yeah, the lockdown. Yeah, got out, and then obviously I think it was a week after everything went. Yeah. Well, now we're back here again. Back in, you know, uh, however long it's been now. It's been a while. Um, it's been a long while, though, mate. It's yeah, come up to now, 11 years, isn't it, mate? Yeah, and I'm hopefully looking to get out in September. I think it'll be about 18 months by the time I've been, been out and back in, really. But have so, you been consistent? Because you're yeah, looking great, I'm always, I'm always in the gym, I'm always training. As a lot of people say, the tick over or, or whatever, but yeah, I'm always in the gym. Training. Because there's a, there's a possibility of you fighting for the central area fight. Yes. It's not been confirmed yet, but there's been a lot of talk about you and another kid who, who <laughs> he's even older than you, mate. Uh, Jimmy First. Yeah, Jimmy. Who, who's, who's done amazing, come from nowhere, turned pro about 36 years yeah, old. Yeah, he, he was late when he turned over. I think he might, like you say, been about 36 or something like that. And we actually know each other. Um, we go to like, there's a coffee shop up near him, where he's from over in Brighouse, Halifax, and um, we we'll both go over there, you know what I mean, so we bumped into each other while the pandemic was going on, and we just had a sit down, general chat about boxing, whatever else, and obviously we're both lightweight, so we said, you know, maybe one day we'll both get it on, anyway, it come round that, you know, we can box at Central I, I, I think this title is vacant now, because we had the last winner of it, I think it was Steve Brogan, uh, fought in Liverpool, fought, I can't remember who he fought now, um, but he, he won the title and he's on a, uh, a holiday, uh, Her Majesty's holiday. And, um, I've been on one of them myself. So, so he, he, he looks like, he, I think uh, Steve might not get a chance to, to, certainly not defend it anyway, he might not even get a chance to return. Yeah. Uh, so that title's vacant. So well, there's no reason why you and uh, Jimmy nah, first can't he, get it off. he was sanctioned before. We were supposed to box for it in December. Obviously just gone. Well, obviously the pandemic was going on on a um, show behind closed doors. But it just never happened and, you know, here we are now trying to get it on again for <laughs> September. He's doing everything right. I think he's 9-0, isn't he? Yeah, he's 9-0. I'm 13-0, you know. So two undefeated fighters both going at it, you know. And it's what, it's what really boxing should be about, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's fighting the best or what people want to be a great fight as well. Yeah, well, I, I think it'll be a good fight, but you know something? You're called the Grey Bomber, and you're looking at your record, 13 wins, no stoppages. And I'm watching you, and I'm thinking, why not? Because I, I, I think you can bang a yeah, bit, can't no, you? It's one of them, it? like, I remember obviously before, like you say, I've had a bit of a long career, in and out, long spells and whatever else, but I boxed the best journeyman about learning my trade, you know, boxed people like uh, William Warburton, um, Sid Razak, uh, well, really Warburton's alive, Johnny, anyway. Johnny Greaves, you know, all them kind of people there, um, they don't get stopped often, no. you know what I mean, um, and it's only the I'd say the special talents won't do stop them. Oh, and well, it's very rare. This is also because they, they're coming to do a job nine times out of ten, which is their job is to make sure they can do a job the week afterwards. Yeah. Now you're going to be getting in with a kid who's just as hungry as you, if not even hungrier, because he knows he can't afford to lose. Yeah, well, no. 40 years, there's no more rebuilding for him. He's got to just keep going with the flow and making sure he achieves the most that he can achieve. Yeah. Now, this will be brilliant for you because someone coming at you, giving you those opportunities yeah, and it's leaving those openings that you get when someone's attacking you. Yeah, that's it. It's obviously, like you say, there's going to be a lot more openings for me there to, to take and capitalise on, you know, and get my shots off. Whereas when you're fighting, obviously, the kids who are journeyman, like you say, no disrespect to them because the tough no, fighters listen, they're they're very good at what day they in, do. day out, or week in, week out, they earn the money, you know what I mean, and um, they work hard themselves. But, you know, and I know it's a lot different when someone's coming forward. And with the, with himself, the same but, ambition that you've got? Yeah. So this is what I think will make it such a good fight. Uh, have you any idea when it might happen? If it... Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, the 3rd of September. Oh, is this going to be on the Basin Show as well yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that the Liverpool bank uh, Leeds Banker Swing? Yeah, suite? Uh, the Ellen Road Banqueting Suite. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, sure what the correct name is for it. 
It's just it's a regular venue, venue that's where you yeah, thought yeah, it was. What Matt does a, a lot of his shows on there, do you know what I mean? It's popular for Matt to run his shows on. Well, this is just it. Uh, it's always a pleasure to bump into you, mate. Uh, looking in great shape, like you say, uh, you're not far off weight now. No, that's we're, it, we're what, yeah, eight weeks away? I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> if the phone rings, we're ready. <laughs> Alright, well listen, hope that phone does ring. And uh, hopefully when I do bump into you, you might have that belt round your waist and be Central Area Champion. No, I will have the belt round me and I will be Central Area Champion. That's all just right. Take care, Thank mate. You. Bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.